Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining in. Guys, in this WordPress video, we will understand that if you are using Contact Form 7 plugin in order to collect leads for, from your WordPress website, then you might be having one bigger problem that Contact Form 7 plugin does not store the leads which are coming to the dashboard or coming to your website. It only sends them over email and you need to every time open the email again and again and check for the leads. There is no way that you can store the leads in a Google Sheet or Excel Sheet or any third party but that is not the case now because I am going to teach you how to store and how to capture all those contact form 7 leads which are coming for your website into a Google Sheet automatically so that you are not supposed to go to your mailbox and check every time whenever there is a new lead coming up. So how to do that? That is the agenda for this video. So stay tuned, watch the video till the end so that you don't miss on any step. Now there are two requirements. If you are not already using contact form 7, you will find the video link on my i button and top on the video that how to use contact form 7. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that you are con using contact form 7 and you know how to use contact form 7. That's why I'm just directly jumping onto the part where you want to connect the Google Sheet with the contact form 7. So in order to connect Google Sheet with your contact form 7, we need to simply perform three steps. Number one, to add a plugin. Number two, to configure that plugin with your contact form 7. And number three, to test whether that plugin is actually capturing the data inside your Google Sheet or not. So first step is to go to plugin section and click on add new plugin. Here we will use a very simple plugin that is contact form 7, contact form 7, Google Sheet connector, Google Sheet connector. So you need to simply search for this connector. Google form 7, contact form 7, Google form sheet connectors, you can say CF7, Google Sheet connector simply install this plugin and once the installation is done you need to simply activate this plugin and this is your step number one completed here so install now now click on activate now step number two to configure this plugin with your existing contact form 7 and in order to have a google sheet you must have a gmail id so that you can create a google sheet and can link so in order to do that so just go to the contact option choose whatever contact form you want to configure with click on edit and now here you will see an additional option Google Sheet. Previously you won't see it other if you don't have the plugin. So click on Google Sheet and now you can say authentication required. So in order to authenticate, come on to this option on the left hand side that is Google Sheet. Click on Google Sheet and now here you need to sign in with Google. Now here it is asking for Google access code and it is also asking sign in with Google. So click on this option and then choose the email ID. So I am choosing this email ID and now it is asking for permission that is continue select all as the permission and then click on continue and then it will be connected now scroll down and click on save now google access token is received now click on save so it says google uh, authorization code is successfully done and now it is connected with my mail id and it's showing currently active so that is okay now i need to go to my google sheets and create a google sheet so i will search for google sheet and i will choose this link I will go here and I will make sure that you are on the same email ID that you have used in order to authentication because it will fetch that. So I will just select for CF7. I will give it a name, right? So I have created the Google Sheet. Now come back to the WordPress dashboard. Go to contact forms, edit the contact form, come on to Google Sheet and now you, you can see there is no authentication is required because we have done it and that is only one time required. Now it says Google Sheet name. So Google Sheet name is this, that is CF7, whatever name you have given here as it is, it is, you know, character sensitive. So whatever space character there as it is copy and paste. Google Sheet ID, that is main ID. So you need to copy this ID that is after D, just copy this uh, till next slash, copy this, come back, paste it here. Google Sheet tab name. So by default, the tab, tab name is Sheet1, but still you click on rename, click on copy, come back and paste it here and Google tab ID by default if you are making a Google tab ID so by default it is zero as soon as you create more IDs it will be changed now paste so these fields are done and now you can click on save changes so integration is done but in order to fetch the data into Google sheet what you need to do is come on to Google sheet again and now just copy and paste these fields which are display here so you need to copy this Google name with colon so by it will show you pro feature, but don't worry. It will not ask you for the pro feature. You don't need to go there. So just copy this. So just select control C, come back, 
by default first should be date so date mention date now second is this don't include the semicolon right same way you can just copy and paste as a header so that it will get to know key in which column the data should be fetched again your email that is copy paste and the last one is message it will show you the pop up this pop up multiple time but don't worry you are not supposed to take this in your message now your name email subject email message will be fetched here now the only thing the third step is to test whether this form is working or not so we will just simply integrate this form so we'll just simply integrate this form we'll go to the contact form and if you have already integrated that's okay so we'll just copy this short code here come back to any page on my website let's say home page edit with elementor we'll just simply paste it and if you have already done it you can just uh, wait for 30 seconds more so that we can just integrate and test it so let's just integrate here only let's just integrate in the bottom so here we need to integrate a short code widget so we'll just simply search for short code drag and drop and paste this here and just apply and publish so once the in code is integrated the form is integrated and changes are published now we will go to the preview we'll go to the preview and fill the form and see whether we are any you know able to fetch the google uh, data in the google sheet or not so we'll go click on preview scroll down now let's put a dummy entry that is demo 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 and of course demo click on submit by default it is successfully submitted yes and go to google sheet you can see the data is there by default the date today's date will be fetched here and your name your email subject email message is there now you are not supposed to check the email again and again as soon as there is more data coming in leads coming in it will be stored here and automatically it will be saved here only because google sheet automatically saves the data so that's how you can avoid the hustle of checking again and again each and every email whenever there is a new lead on your wordpress website using contact form 7 so guys that's it for this video i hope you like the video and if you did you know the drill you need to like this video subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you never miss an update on my video whenever we upload it on our channel thank you so much i will catch you in the next video